Hey guys, it's your girl Kindy. Today we're playing more Heavy Rain. So, the last time Ethan cut off his finger in the third trial, and Scott and Lauren are continuing to try to find the origami killer. So now, we have to kill some guy who lives here. His name is Brad Silver. Now, if I remember correctly... Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck. I said a thousand... Hey! Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? I don't want your dope or your you money! I want your life! Well, we can make a deal. Gosh, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! Alright, so, there's a bunch of quick time events here. Gotta be prepared. I'm not no junkie! Fire a warning shot! Yes, go! Come on. Come on, Ethan, go, go, go! Oh, crap! L right? S? W? Bro! Oh, yeah! Come on! I'm about to pop a cap in your ass! I give you whatever you want! Got dope? Got cash? You want some dope? No. Please. I want your balls. I want your life. What? He's my girl, see. This one's Sarah. What? And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I. I want to see them again. Please. Please He's got. Don't He's. Oh. I'M SO SORRY! I'M SORRY, MAN! Sarah, Cindy, I'm sorry! I killed your father! I killed your father! I killed your father! I killed I'm so sorry! Oh! Ah. Huh. In the gun grip? What? I didn't even have to... Did I even have to do that? I don't think I had to do that. Sean! Sean! Oh, jeez. Come on, give me the letters. 852-HO-RUZ-L. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on, Ethan. We'll save... Sean! But there's Sarah and Cindy. Oh, Madison! Achievement unlocked. I'm a killer. Kill the drug dealer. I killed a man. I killed him in cold blood. 
I got your information. Oh crap, this is the and first. The the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian okay, we gotta focus here because he this is the first chapter where Madison can actually die. And bought up some cheap -ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was don't wonder that we don't want that to happen. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Yes, I'll be careful, Sam. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Sheesh. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Oh, hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. Okay. Creep. I got a bad feeling about this place. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Boxes? Jesus. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. It's not a lot. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Uh, no. Number one rule, no, never o never take a drink if someone offers pill, don't you think? if someone offers you a drink and a drink a toast to our first deal. If you're in a stranger's house, never take their drink. Never ever drink anything. Trust me, I've seen plenty of movies. Never accept a drink if a stranger gives you a drink. Never. Because it's most likely going to have roofies in it. And then, they're gonna, and then you're going to wake up in an ice bath before. with one of your kidneys missing. Who told you about me? The important thing is that we're here, right? Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Get my hands been off, thin enough, hard working enough. I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Oh. Shame. I was looking for something around... Marble Street? I think he's mad. Don't drink it, Madison. You're not drinking? No. I am... Um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. Yes, don't accept a drink that a stranger gives you. That's the number one rule. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. Okay. The guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Oh god, uh I guarantee he has he's put he put roofies in that, that drink, seems trust to be me. Interested in property, amongst other things. He a hundred percent put roofies in that. He was gonna drug me. But I'm not falling for it. Because I'm smart. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Shit! Yeah, he definitely put one of those in my drink. Bathroom. What's in here? Just typical shit.
Yeah, this guy is shady. As hell. Blue Lagoon. Take that. Oh no. <laughs> See, this guy's crazy. This is actually the first part where one of the characters can die. Madison can die here if we're not careful. So we have to get out of here. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rented to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. Come on, shake myself. Great, get out of here! To be honest, I don't give a damn, because as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. Oh god, uh... But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to- Oh no, this. you better not- I No! Don't have any instruments He's here. gonna drill open so my- I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. I'll hold everything against you, bitch! I'm gonna- I'm gonna get you arrested! I will get you arrested, you crazy doctor man! No! No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No! No. What do I do? Have you ever noticed? Oh. As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. All right. Now that he's leaving, we gotta break out. Come on. We gotta break out quick. We gotta get out of these shackles. Get out of the rope. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Madison! Kick, kick out! Get your shoe off! Just slip through! Come on! Do something! Yes! Okay, come on. Come on! believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We Come on, drill it open. There. Thanks a lot, but I don't need it. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on, 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 come on. I'm 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 tr oh I'm supposed to hold it. I'm supposed to hold it. I'm an idiot. S Saw that open! Yes! Ah! Scary poo poo! Scary poo poo! Come on. We gotta really focus here, because Madison can die if we're not careful. Oh, no! Uh, hit you in the hand! Yes, I hit you in the face. I'll kill you. Get uh. him in the willy. Yes. Yeah. Turn two balls into two hundred balls. That's what I'll do to you. I'll turn your two balls into two hundred. Oh, W W W. We're about to get this dub. Okay, right. Ah. Down. S. I won't let you drill me open. You're not gonna do anything to me, you sick pervert. Run. Yes. Come on. 
Now, I believe here, Madison's faking it out. She's not actually dead. She's faking out. She's faking, pretending that she's dead. So that we can... Journalism is open! <laughs> Get off me! Take that, bitch! Slice your stomach open! Yes! Whoa! That's what I call a blood rush. Smart girl and queen of ropes. Do not drink the doc's beverage. Obviously. And escape before the doc returns. Okay, now this is the first part where Norman Jaden can die. But once again, I'm gonna try my best to save him. We saved Madison. So now we've just gotta save Norman. Yes, let's take the Arry. Hey, can I talk to you? Sir? Can you stop that thing? Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can we go inside? Okay, let's go. Got them rain. Soaking wet. Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Come on, Jade. <clears throat> you can do this. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Oh. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Listen, I'm trying to be nice here, and I'm gonna be nice. You seem like a very nice fellow who is just doing his business. Turn on Ari. Is that blood? Uh... What is that? Blood? Now why is there blood here? I don't know, Norman, but the blood leads here. Tell me that's a toy skull and it's not real. Please. Ugh. One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. Oh, this guy's dangerous. So, this is where Norman's can. This is where the quick time events start where Norman can die. So. Just get you out of sight and finish you off. Focus. W. Huh. Yeah, take that. Take this. Oh no, Ari. Lucky for me, Ari is recording right now. At least I think Ari is recording. If I'm correct, Ari records everything, so because it said wreck on, so you know. Ah. Uh. Come on. Norman, go for the gun. 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 Uh. 
this. I'm gonna... Don't... Yeah, just tell me my... Tell me what I want to know. I won't hurt you. Enough fucking around. You're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. I'm not screwing around. Fuck my fucking nose, pig. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You ain't scared me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in you. Oh, I don't? I don't got nothing in you? Oh, I got it in me! Your motherfucking mind, man? Oh, shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, stop. Enough. I'm starting to remember some things. You, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get in a new one with false plates. He paid cash. False plates? Huh. Car. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. That's what Madison That's got. The card for we'll the Blue Lagoon. This discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Oh, God. No. Norman, not, not now. Not now. Not the, not the drugs. Not Can now. You say cannon will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. I, not, screwing. Wait, no, no, no. Not taking the drugs. Don't take them. The FBI now. God bless America. Thank you, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Fivo. Permanently. Now I know he traps us in a car, and he's about to drop us into a trash compactor, but we've gotta break out, and I know exactly how to do it. I practiced because I didn't practice, but I watched a bunch of videos because I wanna get the best ending. I wanna save Sean Mars. Uh, gotta kick open the glove compartment, kick up the gun, and then we've gotta wait till it shifts over, grab it, and then we shoot the cops, get ourselves free. Oh god. Uh. This is the part I was most scared of, but now we get out. Get out. Go, 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 Norman. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Come on, Norman Jaden. You can do it. Jump. Good job, Norman. Now, he's coming towards me, I believe. He's going to sneak attack. Oh. Yep, I was right. S. S. Oh, grab a light! Ah, hit him in the knee! Come on, knee him! Yeah, I am bad! I'll hit you in the head! Oh god. Go, 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 go! Bash him over the face with that! Yeah! Oh god, not, not in the willy! Hit you in the face! Uh, uh! Punch him! Punch him! Is this guy on steroids or something? This guy has to be on steroids! Why, how is he so strong? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Get, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it! Ah! Oh god. Norman! <laughs> okay, we're close to... S? Double- Oh, crap! No, 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 no. Don't let him- Don't let him kill you, Norman! No, 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 no! Yes! Come on. Push you back. Come on. Yes! 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 
W go 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 both Madison and Norman have survived their first encounters with death. Phew. Okay. We're done. Now, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see me do next time, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.